The pop cake machine is the one machine you need to make fast, delicious pancakes. Within minutes, you can have a constant supply of pancakes cooked to the size and color of your choosing. It's constructed of food grade stainless steel. It's easy to clean and can be used with little training. This means huge savings in time and labor. This instructional film is just an overview. It's not intended to take the place of the operator's manual. Please take the time to read these instructions carefully. Inside the box you will find the pop cake machine, an instruction manual and a DVD, the pop away clamp and a stainless steel bottle that holds exactly the right amount of water for the pop cake mix. Before plugging the machine in, ensure all the parts are in place. To open the front door, push up simultaneously the two safety buttons that are located at either end under the lip of the front door. During transportation, certain components can become dislodged. These are important steps to safeguard your machine from damage. Please check that the machine is level. The Teflon coated belts are inserted correctly and the rollers turn without resistance. White rollers at the right hand side of the machine are clipped into their operational position. The crumb tray is sitting in its correct position. The baffle plate is in position and the splash guard inside the bag chamber is in place. Once you've checked all the parts are in place, you're ready to get started. By pushing the menu button, there are a few different options to the settings. Changing size allows you to choose between minis, medium or large sized pancakes. The dot position indicates size. Changing the mix type. Different mix types may require different cooking temperature settings. Changing the bag. This allows you to change or remove the bag at any time. Changing the pancake color. This allows a lighter or darker pop cake to suit your requirements. Changing cake stack size. This allows you to alter the default number of pancakes per serve when pushing the OK button. Changing mini stack size allows the default quantity of mini pancakes to be changed anywhere from 1 to 99. Other menu key items are counter large, counter medium, and counter minis. This displays the number of pancakes made and this can be reset at any time. You will be reminded to change the belts between 50 and 60 bags. Belts must be changed after 60 bags. To prepare the mixture, just fill the provided stainless steel bottle to the top with room temperature tap water. Then take the stopper that is connected and place it into the bottle. This displaces any excess water to the exact level required. When removing the bag's cap, you may find some of the mixture stuck in the nozzle. Just pull the bag away from the opening and allow the mixture to fall away. Give the nozzle a light tap if needed. Pour the water into the bag and replace the cap tightly. Use care when replacing the cap to avoid cross-threading. Cross-threading the cap can damage the machine. Now shake the bag as demonstrated, turning it and burping it. Ensuring the water is dispersed evenly to make the pancake batter. Leave the bag to rest and allow the mixture to settle for a minimum of three minutes. You will find that air accumulates within the bag over this time. After the resting period, check the bag is sealed, then burp the bag. Take off the cap and push out any air that has accumulated. This is a very important step to ensure all the excess air is removed from the bag. And shake the bag again. Finally, replace the cap and tear off the cap's lid. Your bag is now ready to be loaded into the machine. Make sure you do not load the bag into the machine without the cap screwed on tightly. When turning the machine on, it will take approximately six minutes to warm up. The machine will display a message to inform you when it has fully warmed up and the bag can be loaded at this time. Load the bag into the bag chamber on top of the machine. Place the cap into the hole of the splash guard. Thread the other end of the bag between the two rods that are located at the opposite end of the bag chamber. Make sure you squeeze the mixture away from the end of the bag to make threading the bag between the rods an easier process. 
These rods wind the bag forward and squeeze out all the mixture. Finally, close the lid of the machine. Let's see that again. The lid should close without any resistance. If all the air isn't removed from the bag prior to loading it into the bag chamber, you run the risk of bursting the bag open when closing the lid. If this happens, re-burp the bag and reload it again. Now all you have to do is sit back and watch perfect and delicious pop cakes cooking right in front of your eyes over and over again. Included with your machine is the pop-away clamp. This allows you to effortlessly make pop cake turnovers by sealing your favorite fillings inside, creating limitless takeaway and grab-and-go menu options. The pop cake machine also has an optional accessory that converts the pop cake machine into a self-serve mode with a simple stainless steel cover plate. Once the preferred settings are entered, the cover plate can be attached to the machine before being placed on a self-serve buffet counter. The machine will inform you when the bag is empty and will unwind automatically inside the bag chamber. You will be required to load a new bag at this time. To turn the machine off at the end of service, simply push the power button and the machine will unwind the bag and require you to remove the bag from the bag chamber. Once you have removed the bag and closed the lid, the machine will display that it is cooling down and turning off. This will take between 20 and 30 minutes to complete. Cleaning the machine is very simple, and there are three components that should be removed and cleaned thoroughly under hot water. The crumb tray, including the rubber wiper, the splash guard, and the air filters. On a regular basis, run a soft cloth over the machine itself, wiping clean the belts and the rollers. Ventilation fans should be checked regularly and fan filters should be cleaned several times per week and inspected during belt changes. To take out the belts, first remove the crumb tray, unhook the white rollers and slide the tensioning lever to loosen the rollers. Then rotate the belts while pulling the belt towards you to remove. When replacing the belts, don't hold your hands inside the belts vertically. Instead, lay your hands flat, guiding the belts over the rollers, starting at a 45 degree angle. This method ensures the belts will slip over the rollers with ease. A belt sensor is located inside the machine. The lower belt must be inserted between this belt sensor in order for the machine to operate correctly. Incorrect placement of this belt can cause damage to the machine. Once installed, slide the tensioning lever back to tighten the rollers. Then replace the white rollers and then reinsert the crumb tray. When replacing the crumb tray, it's very important to make sure it sits in place perfectly. Otherwise, this will interfere with the operation of the belt sensor. The lip of the crumb tray should sit firmly over the side of the machine, securing its position. Now you and your customers are ready for those perfectly cooked pop cakes time and time again. Congratulations on taking ownership of your pop cake machine.